Now then, back to the story. There was a bit of a uh, language barrier between Maria and I. She didn't speak English and I didn't speak Spanish. Just a bit of a barrier. Now looking back, it would be easy for me to say that uh, what I fell in with her was just lust. It would be easy for me to say that, but it wouldn't be true. Uh, <clears throat> of the preceding three days, I spent a lot of time in that bar. Needless to say, the people that I went down there with weren't too pleased with me. Well, <clears throat> I tend to be very attracted to women who are needy. And she was needy, all right. Mm. I can remember her mm. cleaning up the bathroom. Somebody had thrown up in the bathroom. Just cleaning it up with newspaper. My heart went out to her. Well, we went back to the farm for another week. And like I said, the, uh, the guy, especially the guy in charge down there, he was uh, less than happy with me. I didn't care. I don't care. Um, especially if I'm doing something like this. I will do anything, anything, for the people I love. Well, we went back to Degusagopa for the last night there. Had a big blowout with this guy who was uh, the head of this group, of our group down there. <clears throat> And uh, he told me I'm not going anywhere that night. Well, he's going to tie me down. I'm going. So I went back to the bar. <clears throat> and uh, spent that final night with Maria. Thing is, it's very easy for people to say that the only reason that Maria was interested in me was because I was an American and that I could bring her here to the States. Well, <clears throat> people get married for lots and lots of reasons. To, so to say that it was the only reason that she was interested in me would not be true. Was it a reason? Yes, of course it was. I'm not a fool. I know that on that final night that I was there with her, that had she really wanted to compel me to come back, she would have slept with me. She didn't. She has been vilified by my family and that's just not right. 
She's a decent enough person. Made her mistakes. And she liked to lie to me about lots of things. But you know, after twenty years I look back and I don't I don't remember the bad times with her anymore. I wonder if that's ever gonna happen with my last wife. Well, there was that final night, her and I communicating as we could. No question in my mind that I was in love. First real time that I was in love. And we came back to the States, of course, and I was miserable. I looked into it while I was down there. In order to get a passport, a Honduran citizen needs about five grand. Now, this is to do a lot of payoffs and whatnot. It's not like the government down there is, you know, up and up. So about five grand is how much it costs to get a passport if you're a Hond if you are a Honduran. Well, I had some money, but I didn't have that much. Didn't have nearly that much. Mm, I had about half eventually. Came back, it was summertime, summer of 92. I was working in a convenience store closer to my house in a much nicer neighborhood, much better place to work. And I had a friend of mine who worked with me. His name was Dallas. And I can remember, you know, I was, as you can guess, talking about nothing else but her. One of my friends that I had for many years, very angrily, told me one night, he said, forget her. Well, that pissed me off. But there was a night that I was working, and Dallas was there, and I was talking about her. I was saying, I wish I had the money to go down there. And Dallas said, man, just go. Don't worry about whether you got enough money or not. Just go. Well, I took his advice. I wonder anymore the generation of so-called men that have come up behind me. Men without love, without compassion. And without guts. I wonder, you know, at that age I was 23 when I went back down to Honduras. I wonder how many of you would have the guts to go to another country to try to find a girl, didn't turn out to even be in the bar, by the way, to find a girl that you uh, cared about. This wasn't a matter of desperation. I'm the type that's not interested in women that I'm not in love with. I'm just not. 
I won't. I won't do anything with him, really. It's just the way I am. It's the way I always have been. The thought of being with a woman that I don't love is as bizarre to me as... I don't know. It's just bizarre. This generation of boys who have come up behind me the next generation, Generation Y, I guess you call them. You are a pathetic, sad excuse for men. And the shit is about to hit the fan. And when it does, I don't feel sorry for you in the least. I have never in my life until I started spending time online more and more the last couple of years seen so-called men boys who call themselves men who are more full of arrogance and have nothing to back it up nothing you're not intelligent probably not good looking. One thing I do know is that most of you have no moral standards. Zero. I spend my time speaking with women because women have something that you men do not. Humility. After everything I've been through, everything I've done, What the hell have you done with your life? Little boys who want to threaten me. What have you done with your life? By the time I was your age, I had been to New York, had an acting scholarship, and gone down to Honduras, to a country I didn't even speak the language, to chase after a woman who became my first wife. Forgive me, those of you who I'm not speaking to, because I have a feeling that from time to time on these videos, I will be ranting. Well, <clears throat> I got my ticket to go down to Honduras. And of course, this story, my second trip down there, will have to come in the next video.